Today is Sunday, February 25th, and I'm standing here at Daisy Pass on a south-facing slope. And this avalanche uh, happened yesterday. Um, we don't know if it was snowmobile or triggered or if it came down naturally, but we did hear it happen sometime yesterday morning. So we're going to head on up and uh, check out the crown. So the crown here is about two to three feet deep and the average slope angle is approximately 35 to 37 degrees and the slide was about a hundred feet wide but it ran about 600 feet vertical and also pulled out some small trees uh, when it slid. Um, what we have here is we've got an ice crust um, about 95, about three feet off the ground and on top of that is some faceted snow and that's what the slab slid on and on top of that faceted snow we've got pencil the one finger hardness really dense snow so when it released it broke on the facets that were sitting on the ice crust I'm standing here on a south facing slope on Scotch Bonnet uh, near Lulu Pass and this avalanche that happened right here happened about an hour ago. The snowmobiler came up on the slope high marking it when he triggered it got caught and got carried all the way down in the debris but he had an avalanche airbag so we yanked the cord on that it deployed and it floated him um, right onto the surface and he was uninjured and he dug out his sled and rode on out of here so we're gonna skin on up and take a look at the weak layer. Okay, we're at the crown, and the crown's anywhere from two to five feet deep. Uh, the slope angle is about 36 to 37 degrees, and it's a small wind-loaded pocket, but it broke out um, about 50 feet wide and ran about uh, 500 feet vertical, uh, dumping debris anywhere from eight to 10 feet deep. So even though it was a uh, small right here in the starting zone, it, it pushed a lot of debris down below. Um, almost an identical layering and situation as the previous slide we looked at. We have a, an ice layer here, which was the bed surface. Underneath that, or on, I'm sorry, on top of that was a layer of faceted snow, about a centimeter, two centimeters thick of a uh, just kind of sugary grain snow and sitting on top of that is incredibly dense um, one finger to knife hardness wind slab and uh, so the snowmobiler came up, triggered the slide, went on the ice layer.